As a young boy, Bernard Jackson recalls watching his two brothers attend St. X and play a variety of sports, so he knew at an early age he was destined to be a Tiger. Bernard was a three-sport athlete at St. X, and he made an immediate impact from the time he stepped foot on campus. In track and field, Bernard won two individual state championships in discus as a sophomore and junior, and finished second place at the state meet as a senior. He was also a two-time state champion in the shot put as a junior and senior. He closed out his track and field career earning all state honors both years. For all his success each spring, it was on the football field where Bernard really shined. His combination of speed, size, and love for the game brought him much success. As a freshman, he led his team in tackles and let the St. X community know that there was a special player in the ranks. Bernard was a three-year starter and defensive leader on the varsity team. He helped the green and gold to a combined 36 wins and state championships in 1995 and 1997. His performance on the field earned him many individual honors, including all district and all region for three consecutive years and 4A All-State as a junior and senior. Also during his senior campaign, Bernard gathered All-American honors from high school football recruiting analyst Tom Lemming, Parade Magazine, Reebok, National Sporting News, and USA Today. Bernard finished his high school career as one of the most accomplished players in St. X football history. Mike Glazer was Bernard's football coach at St. X. Well, I tell you what, when I think of Bernard Jackson, I think he's just a tremendous athlete. You know, when he came in at St. X, uh, we knew he was special, but once he hit that football field, I mean, he could play any sport. Uh, he could pick up a ball in any sport and he was gonna be good. When he hit that football field, you knew he was special. And when I think back after all these years, I can pick out plays, his first kickoff up at Henry Clay, he makes an unbelievable hit to open the game. I think the, down in Henderson County, it was his sophomore year, uh, we're in the semifinals of the state, and he takes, and takes a uh, fake punt for a touchdown, or almost a touchdown. Uh, and then the biggest hit that I've ever seen in my 31 years of coaching uh, at St. X was a hit on the quarterback for PRP in the playoffs. It was a little bit scary because uh, he just laid the poor young man out. But so Bernard was just special. He made plays that, that you can't forget. Our first preseason scrimmage, when we were talking about, can we start a sophomore? He goes up on a play action pass, intercepts it one hand, runs it back against our guys. And we all looked at each other and said, he can start. He loved playing the game. When, it, when, it, when the lights came on, he would have a big smile on his face. And football never seemed to be hard for him. He really thrived at being out there on the field, being with his, his uh, teammates and his friends, and always had a smile on his face. You know, his senior year, we were two and three, and I went to him and said, Bernard, you gotta take over. And we run the table, end up uh, 12 and three, and win a state championship in 1997 behind his leadership and our defensive uh, uh, players. After being heavily recruited by colleges across the country, Bernard chose the University of Tennessee and immediately made his mark. As a converted defensive lineman, he helped Tennessee win the 1998 NCAA National Championship. For the next three years, Bernard continued playing a vital role in Tennessee's dominating defense. During his senior season, he led the defensive line in tackles. After his senior season, Bernard was signed as a free agent by the Washington football team, where he played from 2002 to 2003. After the NFL, Bernard played for the Louisville Fire and the Lexington Horsemen of the Arena Football League. Bernard's passion for the game carried over to the youth football scene after he retired from football. In addition to working with his own sons, he coached more than a dozen years for Hikes Point and Highview Optimist Leagues. Currently, Bernard is back in school at the University of Louisville with plans to graduate in May. He aspires to utilize his degree in education to teach and coach. Bernard and his wife, Tyrell, have three sons, Jalen, Jaden, and Jeremiah. 
the St. Xavier High School Alumni Hall of Honors welcomes Bernard Jackson. <laughs>